Hey everybody, it's Dumb Waldo from VaporsForum.com and uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this device today. This is the uh, dual, I'm sorry, the twin 801 atomizer 6 volt portable mod from Billy Boy 689 uh, He doesn't have a shop anywhere. He sells these on the forums through the classified section. He's on VaporsForum.com and the members classifieds. He's selling them for $89. I don't know if he has any left but I'm sure he'll be making some more if he doesn't so get in line because this is a winner right here uh, he calls it a mod but I don't know if mod is the right word to use for this because it's not really something that's been modified this is something that was built from scratch and every last piece on this going all the way down to the atomizers everything that you see there is all you know pretty much made by Billy himself switch he probably bought but other than that it's all handmade the end cap doesn't have any threads, it doesn't screw on and off, it just slides on and off. It's a nice, snug fit. I don't feel like it's going to, over time, wear out and come on and off real easy. It's just got a little uh, contact point, it's a little screw head in the center there, and it's got these two wires that come off of it, and the wires will wrap around the plastic on the edge, and those wires touch the body, and that creates the negative contact for the batteries. The batteries, you'll see, they're considerably smaller than the tube that they go into. And the way that Billy Boy accounts for this is with these plastic insert sleeves. He just throws a whole set of these inside the tube. And, uh, I still got one more in there. And, alright, that one's good. And these plastic sleeves here, they just uh, hold the batteries in the center, make sure that they stay in the right place. If they rattle around, they don't bang against the metal and they don't make a lot of noise. And uh, it keeps the batteries separated from the body, which is carrying the negative charge from the batteries. When I first got this and I first looked at it, I originally thought that the negative carried through the body and then there's these washers on the screws that connect the atomizer connector here. I thought that those washers touching into the body was what carried the negative, but when I looked a little bit closer, I pulled the wires up here a little bit, and I looked in, I was able to see, I doubt that you're going to see it on the, on the video, but there's actually a hole drilled in the body, and there's a wire inserted so that it makes contact with the body, and then the wire is pinned down underneath the two screws that hold the atomizer connections. So it does have a, a, like a wired connection, so to speak. It's not just touching, that's all. Um, you can see that the wires kind of come through into the atomizer connections on the bottom there. And it does look a little bit precarious, like those wires could easily get cut by the atomizer connectors, which are made of a thin metal. Um, but on the top side, if you take a look at it, you'll see that it's, it's cut out a little bit right there. You can see it's cut out a little bit because both of these uh, atomizer connectors will fold in and they bottom out against the button. The metal ring around the button is where they hit and they stop going once they hit that. That prevents them from going into the wires too much so that they can't cut the wires. Uh, it's really a, a very very careful piece of machining and this whole plastic end cap here uh, appears to be something that was like, uh, I'm going to use the word sculpted by Billy Boy. I don't know where he would have gotten something like this. Uh, I, I have no explanation for that. Uh, it, it, it does deliver the full 6 volts to both atomizers. Uh, I don't know series parallel, but it does deliver to both atomizers. What it does is it takes the positive, comes out of the top, and that goes down through the body into this wire out here goes back up and into the switch and then when it comes out of the switch it's two leads coming out of the switch one to go to each atomizer the atomizer connectors these are not um, something that were ripped off of uh, a dead 801 battery these like the rest of the, the uh, mod is something that Billy Boy made it looks to be some type of a coaxial connectors that he used and then in the center it's an insulated wire and the wire is sort of balled up a little bit in the center and that creates the positive connection so when the atomizer screws in 
It's just an atomizer center post touching that wire and the outside of the atomizer using the threads for the negative. Works great and it's very simple and uh, I have to say before I screw the atomizers onto here it's something completely and entirely manufactured by Billy Boy. It's very impressive. So I throw the batteries into it and I'm sure you guys have seen my stupid smiling video that I made the day that I got this. So you know, it just it vapes phenomenally well. It, it, it kicks like a pair of silver spurs going into a, a horse when you're riding it. It really does. Now I'm not hitting the button for the whole time that I'm drawing on it there. I'm only hitting the button for about two, maybe three seconds. Let me uh, demonstrate this so you can see. I'm going to put my finger all the way up to the button and I hit it. And... You see, it's like a two or a three second drag and this thing just really hits. But uh, I found out another little trick for it the other day and I saw E-Liquid Planet and eLiquid Planet got in some adapters. So I got two adapters from eLiquid Planet and I got these beautiful little 801 to 510 adapters. So I was wondering how this would hit with a pair of 510s on it. Now, the way that the 801s hit, they each hit a little bit airy. It's a very soft draw. It's kind of like sucking through a straw. Very little resistance. The 510s, they have a little bit more resistance to them. So I was curious how the difference was going to be, and this is what I found out. That two 510s hit like three 801s. With two 510s on this, I just can't even, I, I can't even begin to tell you how strong this is. It almost knocks me over. And I don't want to use anything else but this when I use this with two 510s. It really is a very, very strong hit. It's the strongest thing I've ever had. It's stronger than a pass through, it's stronger than anything I've tried before. I have other, you know, 6 volt mods that are just straight 6 volts. I got my screwdriver with my little Cisco extender to run it at 6 volts. Hits great. Nothing compared to this. It's like twice the vapor. It's two atomizers, so it's going to be twice the vapor. Um, this is just, it's a phenomenally good investment, in my opinion, and I think it's an investment because its design is a way that you can see everything and how it works, and if anything should go wrong with it, if you know a little bit how to, how to work with these things, you'd be able to fix it yourself. It's not going to have to go all the way back to Australia. It's just a very simple design, it works phenomenally well, and it was the best 90 bucks I've spent since I started vaping. So. Uh, you know, if you're a collector, if you're just looking for something really insanely strong, go on the forum, VaporsForum.com, check out the Members Classified, get in touch with BillyBoy689, and tell him you need to get one of his twin 801 atomizer 6-volt portable mods. Peace.